Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ready to battle and take home that elusive UFC goal. All right, so we get another look and title defense for the UFC's undisputed welterweight champion, and he's chasing greatness, right? He wants to be mentioned alongside George St. Pierre. Kamal Usman is one of the greatest welterweight champions to keep that dream alive. Not a whole serve is the favorite time. For him, it was about getting there. And once he got there, Johnny started thinking bigger. How do I build my resume? How do I build the legacy? How do I do enough to be remembered? It's all about legacy for this guy. It's fight by fight. But every time you speak to him, Talks in historical terms. He's just a tremendous champion. Well, and some people were suggesting this week that he move up a division and chase double champ status. He is focused on the task at hand. Herb Dean, third party in the octagon tonight. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training, and I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. Leg kick now. Nice shot there by the champ. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh, nice block. Nice jab there. That is a clean strike, and it gets right through the guard. <laughs> Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Oh, Superman punch! Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Big left hook coming. It's blocked. And he caught the kick. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Oh, nice. Under three minutes to go in round one. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Don't wait, don't wait. I need you to be first now. Moving to his left now. Yeah. Big yeah. liver kick lands under the elbow. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Attempts the front kick there. Forward, forward, forward. Look at the turnover in that kick. 
So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. Just out of range with that strike. Jab keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Heavy kick downstairs. Lands a nice leg kick. Oh, nice. Nice. He's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. He's doubling up on the jab. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Oh, that's going to soften him up. Massive knee to the body. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Slips to avoid that left. reach the end of round one. Take a seat. Deep breath in. Or relax. Take a drink of water and listen. All right, man. I want you to set those kicks up. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. You ready to fight? You ready? Get Second it. round underway. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. <laughs> Beautiful kick to the body. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, counters with a beautiful left hand. Leg kick checked by Liz. Well, clearly his leg is hurt, and now you see him starting to limp a little bit, Shane. Yeah, he's starting to limp from the leg damage. He's been beat up, but his opponent told us, he goes, this guy does not check kicks very well. He does not do a good job of recognizing those types of attacks, and he's taking full advantage of it. Slips that left hand. Left hand. Great job setting up that high kick. Oh, man. Oh, how technical is that? Nice straight punch. Throwing that jab, no good. Able to block that one. Strike to the body, pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. And under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, he's hurt bad. Just 
just misses with the jab there. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. 90 seconds now to go round two. Work. Looking to land the leg kick now. Nice punch, man. Lee's now switching his stance. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Just out of range with that right hand. He missed with that jab attempt. Ooh, big shot land. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. 15 seconds to go. Outstanding need the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. So what a round it was for him, particularly when it comes to those body kicks, DC. Landed those body kicks every single time he threw them. Every time he decided body kick is going to be the strike, it landed. His opponent needs to do something different or this fight is not going to last much longer. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Circling to his right. Very fast jab. Yeah. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this guy. It's a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combination with the kick. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. Well, he made no bones about his game plan. He was going to attack the body, and he does so effectively yet again there. Well, how about the discipline? How about the discipline to stay the course, to not rush, to not go head hunting, knowing that down the line, all these body shots will be... Oh! Now yeah, he's hurt really bad. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Oh, nice body shot. Looked like a good knee to the body, but it's blocked. 
All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. Just over three minutes now to go. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Lee's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is starting to bleed a little bit now. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Nice crack there. Beautiful block. Oh, effective strike from the clinch there by Lee. Well, don't get mad, get even. Lee well, got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what? I'm going to take one to give one. Bleeding now. Nasty cut on his nose. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. All right, they separate now. We'll see who can get off in space. Oh! I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout.